What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2 video. If you're watching this video, you've probably already surmised that this is not Helldivers 2, but rather it is Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2 set up in a way to kind of resemble and or imitate Helldivers 2 if it were transferred over into this game. So to represent our Terminate army, we have a little variety of the Warhammer 40k Tyranids to kind of spice up this army. All the way from the, some of their smaller little warrior guys, all the way up to their, their mid tier, or kind of like their elite tier of their warrior class here. Then it ranges to the biggest baddie of them all, the Carnifex. And they're kind of trickled along in this army, but these guys are going to be uh, some pretty intimidating foes to go off against. And then to represent our automaton army, we have the classic T-800 Terminators. Couldn't have been a more uh, aptly fitting uh, mod to represent them in this game. And facing off against this mixed army of over 400,000 aliens and machines are none other than our four Helldivers, or in this game, our Galactic Space Marines. And to kick off the Helldivers, we have one that's going to be shooting full auto artillery or tank shells. We have another one that's going to be using a electro beam style arc electric kind of electricity kind of beam gun. Then we have one that's going to be shooting like atomic fireballs. And then we have one, you know, kind of simulate the flamethrower. And then we have one guy that's shooting essentially a beefed up super high caliber LMG. So without further delay, let's see what kind of damage these four hell divers can do against this massive army. Let's see if we can even survive it. And overcome this uh, this massive obstacle of robots and bug monster aliens. We're popping off some shots over here. Hell yeah, Mississippi! <laughs> kind of there we go. Oh, there we go. Boom. For whatever reason, the uh, electro beam guy here in the middle. I upped his range, but for whatever reason, he just likes to wait until they're like up close and personal, so. Here they come. Look at those Carnifexes in the distance, looming over everything else in the battlefield. <laughs> I got our flamethrower guy with his, you know, if it's Mario ate a fire flower on steroids kind of concoction. There they go. Kind of fall back, retreating a little bit, put some distance. There's the beam. There's the beam. Blasting him with his electricity. Going all Nikola Tesla, Tesla on him. Whew. That boy shooting straight beams. I mean, those Carnifex is coming up on him quick. Here come the Terminators, or the Automatons, sneaking up from the left flank. Oh, they're shooting them in the backside. Come on, Hell Diver, you gotta turn around. These Terminators are just unloading it into his uh his left rear flank. Let's go check on our uh, arc welding Hell Diver. Man, he is in the thick of it. Just. Just burning these Tyranids to a crisp. Oh, oh, down he goes. He was almost too much in the thick of it. Keep backing up, fellas. Keep backing up. Our uh, fire flower little uh, flamethrower guy, man, he is... He is diving into hell on his own. He's engulfing himself in his own fireball. <laughs> I don't think he has splash damage on himself, but man, he is turning into the human torch. Those carn effects want all the smoke. Kind of 
stumbling and tri tripping up. Just bullets is shredding through them. Come on, boys. Keep backpedaling. You gotta backpedal your way to extraction. <laughs> Carnifexes are, like, lunging towards them. They're getting ragdolled. They're, they're cartwheeling. a massive chunk of this army left. Just chewing them up and spitting them out. Oh, that got juggled. Get up close and personal with them. They're all three still kind of sticking side by side. The, uh, <laughs> their arc welding electricity comrade got way separated right at the start. Man, Mr. Uh, Mr. Flamethrower is just torching them. going ham and I believe in the middle yeah that's the you know there are the the tank shell firing guy or the artillery <laughs> bullet size guy we lost our middle super soldier he's right oh damn he is <laughs> yep he just got molly wop by this carnifex is all ganged up on him oh no it's not looking good they get fireball flamethrower oh no oh he is oh man those carnifex just came in hot and heavy chew wee man against the overwhelming amount of uh <laughs> tyranids those carnifex is chew wee i only gave them a few hundred but definitely proved to be quite an obstacle to overcome and with the final kill count, the four hell divers managed to take out almost a hundred thousand of them with them. So we didn't make it to extraction, but uh, I think they did super earth pretty well considering how many they uh, they wiped out. Look at this wake of destruction! Just all these little patches of bodies and blood spots just littering the battlefield. Well, they backpedaled their hearts out for sure. It's kind of hard to tell, but I'm looking through this battlefield and I don't see any of the uh, automatons or aka the terminators left unless okay wait here's some or a few there's definitely not many of them left I think the uh, well unless here they are okay there's a big chunk of them I was gonna say man did they wipe out the uh, the automaton army to start but does not look like it. There definitely was a big chunk of them that were killed, though. And as we zoom out from the carnage here, I want to thank you all so much for checking out this fun little video. My own little kind of spin on a Hell Divers 2 crossover into a UEBS 2. So, I know it wasn't perfect, but it was, you know, just a quick little representation of what it would be like to kind of put, you know, four Hell Diver-esque units into this game and kind of face them off against a massive uh, onslaught of aliens and robots like you do in the actual Hell Diver 2 game. But if you guys like this style of video or content, I'm going to try to be doing more videos like this in the near future. Try to make them a little more entertaining and more engaging. Try to make the battles a little more epic and grandiose in scale. But I figured it'd be cool to kind of try out something kind of small scale to get it started and see how it, how it went. Take care, everyone. Peace out, and I'll see you in the next one.